before we jump in to our craft, this is our third kids craft hour of the year. Um, and if you don't know, I host one every month and it's just a free one hour tutorial um, on a kid's craft or art lesson um, to encourage parents and children to be creative together. There's no catch. I do teach uh, one hour virtual art lessons um, and hopefully I'll be able to teach them in person again one day, but for now they're all virtual. So um, if you would like to book one of those, if you enjoy these classes, uh, just visit my website and uh, scroll beneath the header and you'll see a one hour virtual art lesson. So that's my uh, pitch, only a few seconds. <laughs> so now we're going to jump into the craft and uh, first we're going to go over our, our supply list. These cats are made from toilet paper rolls and um, I wanted to talk about the type of toilet paper roll you use. So you may notice this is the like grayish white toilet paper roll. This is a brown one, and this came off a one-ply toilet paper. What I have found is the interior roll is a lot more um, stiff and structured than these. As you can see, these are going to be harder to work with. It may be a little difficult to bend. Uh, you might have a little trouble with the ears if you use this kind. Um, another quick thing I wanted to tell you is make sure all of your... Um, toilet paper is actually off the roll. If you start drawing and you have these little bits of paper, it's uh, going to get caught in uh, your paintbrush if you're using watercolor or acrylic or tempura paint. Um, if you are using a marker, it's going to bleed where the toilet paper is. And if you use a colored pencil, it's going to show up as a lighter color on the tissue because you're not going to be able to press down as hard. So just make sure that you actually remove all of that. You should have a nice, clean toilet paper roll just like this. So you'll need one toilet paper roll per cat. So if you're going to make multiple cats, make sure you have one toilet paper roll for each cat. Okay, next thing you're going to need is a pencil and an eraser. Um, I might choose to skip this option, but this is really helpful if you want to face on your toilet paper roll before you apply paint or markers or colored pencils. Okay, um, the next thing you're going to need is uh, markers if you're using the markers for um, your cat. Um, I used watercolor for the blue and I used Sharpie for the black so you can see how it differs from this one which is colored pencil for the face and watercolor uh, for the shirt. Okay, so that's the difference. And then um, if you don't want to use markers, if you would rather use all watercolor, totally fine. Make sure you have your... Um, water to rinse your brush in. You want to have a paintbrush, a paper towel or napkin or um, some kind of cloth that you can dab your paintbrush on. You also want to make sure you have your paint. Um, I have these colors left over from when I created these. Okay. Um, I also have my watercolor colored pencils. This is not a requirement, but I like how her face turned out with the colored pencil. It just looks a little softer than the uh, one with glasses. That's all you're going to need. Um, you can choose markers, watercolor, acrylic, colored pencils. It's really up to you what you want to use. Let's jump in. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to need your toilet paper roll and we are going to bend it in to make the ears. So it doesn't matter what side you begin on as long as when you bend it a second time it is opposite from where you began, okay? So I'm gonna show you this way so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just bending it in, creating points, okay? And then I'm gonna take the opposite side and bend it in, just working it so it's about the same 
been shape and size as the original. And it doesn't have to be a perfect point, but just something that looks like cat ears. If you like how one side looks versus another, use the side you like as the front because you're not really going to see the back of it anyway. Okay, so you've got your cat shape. This is, that was the hard part, I think. <laughs> So now, um, this is the one we're going to be making. I'm going to show it to you again. Like I said, if you do not want to copy this exactly, that is totally fine. Um, but I'm going to I'm going to copy um, the design, but I'm not going to copy the color, the blue to a different color. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw or paint this band all the way around and then I'm going to paint the glasses and then I'm going to let that dry and then we're going to come back with the marker to do uh, the details. First thing I'm going to do is dip my brush in some water. So now, actually I'm going to do the glasses first. Um, I feel like that'll just give me a better idea of where to put the band. So I'm just gonna start right below my crease. And I'm going to draw a line. And I am uh, taking it to the sides a little bit, just like Imagine the ears would be here, right? Just like if it was a person, okay? So the ears would be here. So that's where I am painting the glasses line to the arms of the glasses, okay? Now, this is gonna be really easy. As long as you can draw the letter B, a capital B, you're good, okay? So you're gonna start at the middle, okay? You're gonna flip it sideways. draw the letter B with paint or marker or a colored pencil, whichever you want to use, okay? So I'm just going to go back over that because it's not very dark. I'm just cleaning up my line a little bit. So you should have something like this, and I know it looks kind of funny without <laughs> any eyes yet, but it's the letter B, okay? You could also do a W, go down with a rounded W if that's easier for you. Okay, now we're going to add the band, the neck band for the sweater, okay? So I'm just gonna come right here about a little under halfway down, okay. Got a little chip of paint. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to just draw a band all the way around. finger propped against the toilet paper roll that's giving me some leverage and allowing me to keep my line straight. should have something like this all the way around your toilet paper roll okay so what we can do while we let this guy dry is to start working on this lady so if you have a second toilet paper roll that you want to um, create a cat out of go ahead and grab it 
same thing. So you're going to push in one side, the other side. So you should have something like this. So now you want to pick a different color of paint or uh, marker. So I am going to work on the plaid and I will show you how to do that. Um, let me pick pink for this one maybe. And yeah. um, we're going to start with the plaid like I mentioned. So the first thing we want to do is going to draw a band all the way around but you want to keep it thinner this time. So I'm going to be using uh, more of the tip of my paintbrush. And just going all the way around, doing one thin line all the way around my toilet paper roll. Again, using my finger for leverage, resting it on the, paper, on the toilet paper roll. looks like this just a line all the way around um, a thin line and then what we're gonna do is we are gonna start drawing lines down in a similar space pattern it, it doesn't have to be exactly you know a quarter inch um, but do something similar you could do zigzags if you want you can continue just doing stripes it's totally up to you I'm going to follow the sample and uh, do the same type of plaid. this little dude. So the only thing that's missing on this is the markers. Okay, so we're going to use marker and recreate this one on this guy. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is draw the eyes and then down. Okay, I'm just going to make it a little thicker because the other line's thicker. Okay. So we got our eyes. Next thing we're gonna do is our nose. Okay, so it's just a little oval. So draw an oval. Okay, and then you wanna fill it in. Okay. Next thing we're gonna do is draw our mouth. So we're going to do a line. It's hard to do, like, I'm not looking at it. Okay, so we have a line. And then we're going to do just like we did with the eyes at the bottom of the. Okay, so there you go. Okay, now we're going to move on to the sweater. First thing we're going to do is draw a line at the top and bottom of the uh, collar that we created, that we painted. So just start and then you're going to go all the way around at the top and then you're going to go to the bottom and you go all the way around at the bottom, okay? on the bottom. There's top 
to bottom, just keep drawing lines all the way around. And that's going to create um, like a ribbed collar look on your cap. All we have left are our zigzags for the sweater. Okay, so you can see there's three rows of zigzags on here. So let's start with one and just go all the way around. Okay, so all this is is just tops of triangles. So you're just going to keep going and do triangles. It's like the letter M repeated over and over. Just keep making capital M's. times. If you want a different design, that's fine. You could do dots and then maybe some stripes, um, or you can just continue so your uh, cat looks like this. Either way, totally up to first hipster cat. Now your cat with the plaid shirt, grid shirt, should be dry if you use watercolor. Um, so we're going to jump on and move on to the face. Now I used uh, colored pencils for this. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is make the eyes and they're just little half almost like a rainbow, so you just draw two little rainbow shapes like that. Okay, so you should have something like this, kind of like eyebrows. <laughs> and then we're going to do the same thing we did on the other cap for the nose. Um, it's just an oval shape. So we're going to do an oval shape right between our eyes. And then we're going to fill it in then you're going to draw the line down from the center of the oval. Okay, something like that. And then you're going to draw a little smile under it. So it's the same shape you use for the eyes. It's just flipped upside down for the mouth. Okay, so something like that. And then all we have left are our little cheeks. So I'm going to use my pink colored pencil for that. I'm not going to draw an oval, but I'm going to color in the shape of an oval. Oh, so you can see I did the same thing here, but it's little. So it's not quite an oval shape, uh, the impression of an oval. Okay, so I'm going to come over here and do the same thing on this side. just creating that little blush little blush look okay so we still have 20 minutes which is awesome um, I was hoping we would get through these two and I could show you how to do the other ones so I have enough um, toilet paper rolls to do the remaining two so I'm going to show those to you and then we'll jump in but first um, let's look at our finished kitties okay so this was my original sample project, and then this is the one we created tonight. Okay, same thing here. This is my sample project, and then this is the one we created tonight. Okay, so I knew this was going to be a short uh, craft hour, so if you need to go and you can't stay for the last two, um, no worries, jump off and uh, you can always watch the repeat on YouTube, okay? Um, another thing, if you aren't signed up for my newsletter, be sure to sign up. You just need to go to my website and a little heart will pop up after a couple seconds. Just type in your email. I am uh, making it a point to send out a monthly newsletter to keep people um, up to date on what's going on as far as 
kids' craft hours, um, shop updates, anything important like that. Um, I've got these two. So, I guess let's do this one because it's less colors. So, take your toilet paper roll. Same thing. Push your ears in. There's all kinds of animals you can make. Um, and I, I don't know why I like toilet paper crafts. I think they're fun. So I'll probably be hosting more. Next month, I'm going to be teaching a foil sculpture. Okay, this one I did uh, watercolor for the green, the yellow green. And then this is all colored pencil. Okay, so we're going to start by filling in section and I am going to use, I'm going to use this yellow color. So you're just going to start a little under halfway down, do the same thing. Okay, we're going to fill all this in. to the face after this so the watercolor can kind of dry before um, we do the details on the shirt okay so something like that depending on what color you use I hope you can see this um, next I'm going to move on to the face and I used um, I used colored pencil for this but I think I'm just going to use marker um, so what I'm going to do is start with the eyes and the nose and the mouth, just like we did the other ones. So the eyes are just straight line and so is the mouth. So this one should be the easiest one yet. So just want to do one straight line, two straight lines. Okay, so you should have something like that. Then we're going to do the oval for our nose again. Okay, and then color it in. Then you're going to draw your line from your nose straight down from the center of your nose. And then you're going to draw a line across for your mouth. Fix so, my nose a little bit. Okay, so you should have something like that. And then um, there's little rosy cheeks again on this one. So I'm going to pick a pink marker. I'm going to do some pink cheeks. I used to do little zigzags this time. I didn't necessarily um, do them in an oval shape, but I did make them about the same size. Okay. Something like that, okay? And then I have um, little freckles on this one, so I'm just going to do some dots. Little dots in the cheeks, okay? So then the only part we have left is to do the collar and the buttons. So you can see it's just a line all the way around the top. So we're going to do that first. If it's not quite dry, it's okay. Just try to be careful uh, because you don't want to rip the paper um, while you're drawing if it's still damp. Mine's damp at the bottom, but the top is dry. So my marker's not bleeding where the actual line I'm drawing is, which is great. Okay, so we've got the line across the top all the way around. And then we're going to do this Peter Pan collar, which, if you look, it is exactly the same shape as our glasses. 
it's the letter B. So if you need to draw it like a letter B, which would be this way, okay? So you can do that, or you can draw it like a W, around a W. Um, I'm going to go for the W this time, and the center of your W should be aligned with the center of your mouth. You should have something like that. There's your W, there's your B, okay? And then we want to fill in our B. And mine's still a little damp, so I'm having to very lightly color it in with marker. You should have something like this if you filled in your collar. Just gonna dot it a little bit because I can't really brush my marker across it. Okay, so then the next step, oh, I got a little yellow paint right there, is uh, the buttons. Okay, so I've just got four buttons going down the center. Actually, I put six on this one. Oops. Okay. And there you have it. Ta -da! So, um, if you haven't already, make sure you RSVP for next month's Kids Craft Hour. Uh, we didn't get to this one, but I'm sure you can take the details from these two and mimic. So, um, I can walk it through, walk you through it quickly. I'm going to draw a line with marker all the way around. Then you're going to pick uh, three to four colors into your stripes going down just like we did on this one. Once you've got your stripes down, you can go back here with your marker. Same eyes as this one, same mouth as this one. Okay, so you're just combining the two. So you're doing the top of the triangle up for the eyes, oval for the nose, fill it in. Bring that straight line down from the center of your nose and then draw a smile at the bottom, okay? Then after your paints have dried, if you used paint, you're going to go back and add your buttons with marker, okay? So that's how you create that one. Um, so here are the things you need to remember. I will be posting photos of the finished uh, projects in the discussion of the event. Um, to starting next month, all the events are going to be pre-recorded and I will do a premiere on YouTube for the day and time of the event and I will be live answering your questions as the video plays out. Um, secondly, Kids Craft Hour for April, uh, we will be creating cardboard and uh, tinfoil sculptures. They're not big, they're about 5 by 7, 8 by 10 ish size. Um, so make sure you RSVP that it, again is a free event um, and I think that is it. I will see you next month and thanks for joining me. If you enjoyed this, um, please visit my website, check out my artwork for sale and uh, visit the one hour virtual art class page to book your lesson. If you have any questions, you can reach me at crystalbotter at gmail.com or you can always message me on social media via Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Have a good night.